So good morning, everybody. Um, thank you for joining us on, on this very, very, very happy occasion. Uh, you know, our highest responsibility, and therefore our top priority, always, always, is compliance, environmental protection, and the health, safety, and well-being of our guests, of the people in the communities we touch and serve, and of course, our Carnival family. That's our crew and our, our shoreside personnel. And in this pause that we've been through for many months, I can't acknowledge enough the tremendous commitment and dedication of our people to honor those commitments and also to honor them in this restart. And I, I couldn't be more proud of our team. Uh, so I want to thank them for their dedication and, and their commitment. I'd also like to thank Mayor Jenny Durkin um, and the Port of Seattle Director Steve. Thank you again uh, for your leadership and for your support over these past 16 months. And also to the entire city of Seattle and and to all of the staff of Port of Seattle, uh, thank you for standing with us because we can't get it done without you. And we wouldn't be standing here today if it weren't for the hard work and strong faith of the Washington and Alaska congressional delegations to pass the Alaska Restoration Act. Now, yeah. So many people say that it couldn't be done, um, but they were not deterred. And their work has helped save this season for the Alaskan people and the many, many people whose livelihoods are dependent on Alaska tourism here in the state of Washington and elsewhere. And for the cruise lines, for us, that carry thousands of people who want to experience the beautiful states of Washington and Alaska. So you have our great respect and you have our deepest gratitude. And um, again, thank you so much. Now, so for so many of our guests, uh, seeing Alaska is a lifelong dream um, that maybe took hold when they were school children um, and Alaska was becoming a state um, for some of us anyway back in 1959 so um, many of you are way too young for that but that's okay um, you know the fact is uh, there is no better way to see Alaska than on the experts in Alaska and the cruise lines that are number one in taking people to Alaska and that's Holland America Princess Cruises and Carnival. And in fact, over the next several days, there will be nearly 6,000 guests embarking in this restart on the ships today, uh, excuse me, tomorrow, Sunday, and then on Tuesday. And uh, we couldn't be more excited about that to be bringing people back to Alaska. You know, Alaska is a place that appeals to everyone, all ages, all backgrounds. It's still a place of wonder and of adventure. It's a place that creates memories that will live on. And Alaska is kind of a magical place uh, for so many, many of us. And uh, I just can't thank everybody here uh, for bringing all of that back. So now I'd like to introduce um, Jan Swartz, who is our group president for Holland America Group. And that includes Holland America, Princess Cruises, uh, Seaborn, and p and Australia. Um, Jan is a consummate leader. And um, I want to thank you, Jan for your tremendous leadership, for your dedication throughout this pause, and for this fantastic um, restart, which has been faced with many ch challenges and changes. And I want to thank your team for the absolutely fabulous job that you're doing. So please join me in welcoming Jan Swartz. Thank you, and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'd like to thank our President and uh, Chief Executive Officer Arnold Donald for joining us today and also shortly you'll hear from Gus Antorcha, our President of Holland America Line. The three of us really represent thousands of employees of Carnival Corporation and all of the businesses that work with us and we could not be more excited for today. <laughs> We thank you all for being here in recognition of the importance of the Port of Seattle, the Northwest, and all of Alaska to our business. And I was really struck this morning that Seattle also has personal significance to me. Um, my grandfather worked here in Seattle at what was formerly known as Todd's Shipyard. 
and my father, as a young boy, um, watched across Elliott Bay, this great city, as boats and ships sailed by. And while my grandfather um, passed away uh, before 25 years ago when I first started in this business, um, I have a, a real sense that he would uh, get a huge kick out of today and, and the fact that Seattle, which was such a special place for our family, is the place that we restart um, cruise business. So from the very beginning, Alaska has been at the core of Holland America Line and Princess Cruises, and it really helped shape the very essence of who we are today. Our origins in Alaska began with Holland America Line nearly 75 years ago with one simple spontaneous tour in Fairbanks back in 1947. And as Holland America transitioned from a transatlantic steamship company into a cruise line company, Alaska was the very first major destination and in fact uh, the place for which we built our first Holland America Line cruise ship. Now Princess first began sailing to Alaska in 1969, with Princess Italia carrying 525 guests to the Great Land. And after more than half a century, we're proud to have shared the natural beauty of Alaska with over 5 million guests. And in fact, one out of every two guests who have cruised to Alaska each year sail with one of these two cruise lines. But today, our legacy and our investment in Alaska is not just with our ships. Um, it goes well beyond cruising. We own and operate 10 wilderness lodges and hotels, 315 motor coaches, 20 private rail cars, and the iconic White Pass and Yukon Route Railway. We employ over 3,000 full-time and seasonal land-based employees across the state of Alaska. And so it's hard to overstate the importance of Alaska to our business, not just for Princess and Holland America Line, but for the entire cruise industry and for the port communities, the small businesses, uh, the many workers and citizens in Alaska. It has been more apparent than ever and critical how much uh, we are tied together in great partnership. Now this past year we were faced with extraordinary challenges and we learned many lessons from those experiences. And when we look back on those times, one of the key takeaways we will always remember is just how crucial Alaska and the cruise industry are to each other. Historically, 1.3 million of the 2 million visitors to the state of Alaska can be attributed to the cruise industry. As you guys know, it's a heck of a lot easier to see the state by sea, given its vastness. And we contribute over $3 billion to the state's economy. Now, cruising contributes within that between seven and $800 million in direct cruise tourist spending in local communities, approximately $300 million in cruise line goods and services, an additional 22 million as our teammates on board our ships go ashore for their own personal needs, and the generation of over 1.5 billion in annual labor income, representing over 43,000 jobs. So I'd say we all had reinforced for us how special the relationship is between Seattle, the Northwest, Alaska, and all of those who work and live and love the cruise business. So we're thrilled to mark our long-awaited return today, and we have spent many, many, many months preparing to serve our guests, our teammates, and the local communities and partners. Now we owe a particular thanks to government leaders uh, at all levels in the Northwest and Alaska. They heard from their constituents clearly that the loss of another cruise season would be devastating to their businesses, both here and throughout Alaska. And without our government partners, their steadfast advocacy, we would not be here today. 
celebrating the safe return to cruising in Alaska in 2021. Here, and we're ready for the return of cruise. You know, um, 15 months ago, I reflected the other day, 15 months ago, there was a lot of uncertainty. I stood outside the port building and announced that we were canceling the cruise season for 2020. And then we really just had a lot of uncertainty about what was gonna happen and how we were gonna get back to that. But at that time I said, I know this for sure, that the cruise industry is a resilient industry and it will come back better, stronger, and safer than it was before. And that's where we are today, fast forward to today.